Hi, I've been lucky enough to get another one from the Women's Prize for Fiction from the library. And it is This One Sky Day by Leonie Ross. And wow, it is a book full of colour and love and exuberance. It's, well, it's, it's exactly what the cover is. It's bold. We are in a world of magical realism. We're on a fictional archipelago called Papishu. And on this, in, on this island, uh, in this space, everybody has a magical ability, or as it's called, a cause. And that can be anything from the ability to change a colour, the ability to heal. It could even be something that's physical. I mean, you might end up with an extra arm or an extra buttock. You know, imagine having three buttocks. Um, but whatever it is, everything is embraced. All right, whatever magical ability you have got, it is embraced, it is accepted. There might be a hierarchy according to what abilities you've got as to you, where you are, but everything is accepted. And when a child is born, the Abeo women, they work out, they investigate what ability, what cause this child has got, and then they can assign a mentor to the child to help it develop. It's a place where love, sex, food, everything is enjoyed. Your senses are fulfilled. You pluck a butterfly from the air and consume it and every coloured butterfly has a different flavour, a different strength, like as you think about wines, fine wines, you have fine butterflies. The opposite side of this is the moth. Moths are dark, addictive, they cause hallucinations. The main character we've got is Xavier and he's a Mechanus, sort of like a spiritual leader for the, um, for the archipelago, for, for, for Papishu. And his cause is the ability to flavour food with his fingers. He, he can alter the taste of food, he can add spices, anything just by touch. Wouldn't that save an enormous amount of, you wouldn't be rummaging through your cupboard looking for that one jar of spice that you think, I know I've got it somewhere. If you could just touch it and it'd be there, that'd be wonderful. During his tenure as Macanus, he, uh, he's, he has to cook, or well, he, he will cook a special meal for everybody. They will be called to his restaurant for a special meal and it's not their favourite meal it's the meal that he considers that they need it will be the meal that fulfills them spiritually and that is another one of his his almost like gifts and he's a widow widower and he lost his his, his wife Nia but he's never forgotten his first love Anise now she is married to Tam Tam and her cause is the ability to heal. But personally, she has suffered miscarriage after miscarriage after miscarriage. So these are the two, two main characters. The one day gov the governor wants um, Xavier to cook the wedding night meal for his daughter who's getting married. He's got a daughter and he's also got a son, Romanza, who he's disowned because um, he's homosexual and he's now living with the indigents on Dead Island. So this is the sort of scenario where we are. And you've got everything happening in one day, this one sky day. And on this day, the earth starts behaving strangely. It's almost as though it wants to cleanse the archipelago because underneath everything, You've got political corruption, you've got greed, you've got capitalism, you've got homophobia, you've got addiction. And the earth is doing strange things. Strange things are happening. 
And it's almost as though this all needs to come to a head to get everything cleansed and start again. It is a super book. You have to sort of suspend reality because of things that happen in here. But it is a book of love. It's a book of taste. It's a book. It's a book that fills your senses. And it's just just great. It really is. So this is One Sky Day by Leonie Ross. I loved it. So happy reading. Take care.